Hello everyone and welcome to another video. So in today's video we will see how to merge data together either horizontally or vertically. So whenever uh, you know there is repeated data or whenever you want your headings to be merged together across multiple cells that's when we use the merge option. And the merge option is available under your home tab and in the alignment section and it says merge and center right here. There is also a drop down arrow where you can use two or three varieties of it. So let's see how it is done. So on the screen you can see a movies data table. It's movies data of movies with a rating of 7.0 or above. So here are you know six movies that we have listed. Now if you notice this table you will see that you know some of the movies have the same year right for example the first four movies Oppenheimer, Barbie, 2018 or Mancham right these are all in the year 2023 similarly if you notice these two movies the first two movies are of the same language English language then you have two movies of Malayalam and two of Hindi movies so sometimes you know whenever you're working with your data you may not need to showcase the same item multiple times. For example, here English is mentioned twice, Malayalam twice, Hindi twice. Similarly, 2023 is mentioned four times. So instead of showing it again and again, what if we could, you know, just show it once because anyways, we are showing other details and we can just show the year once. So let's see how that is done. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to merge these four values because they are the same values correct so i'll just select all four from my uh, cursor i'll go to merge and center and i'll just click on that or else if i just click on the drop down i can click merge and center here or i can click on merge cells let me just click merge and center once so it gives you a warning saying merging cells only keeps the upper left value and discards other value so in this case our upper left value or you can say upper value will be 2023 all right so let me just click on ok now you will see 2023 is listed here and it's a single cell now so all your four cells have been merged into one cell all right and the cell will be e5 okay so you can try this problem out after this video all right so we clicked on merge and center and what happened is the data here gets centrally aligned so your alignment options are here the top are vertical alignment and the bottom ones are horizontal alignment so it's currently in center horizontally we will just align it centrally vertically as well so now it is at the center Similarly, if you want to merge these two, because they are similar, you can just do merge and center. It will give you a warning again. Just click on OK. And we will just vertically align it using this particular option in the alignment. OK. Similarly, you can do the same for this. And Hindi also. All right. So now if you see, your data has not changed. All that has changed is you have merged identical values together to make it look a bit more clean. All right. Now, this is how your merge and center works. So merge and center means you merge the data and align it centrally. That is horizontally. So in this case, when we clicked on merge and center, it was at the bottom. 2023 was at the bottom because it was not vertically aligned. Okay. So to vertically align it, all you have to do is just go to this section in your alignment and click on middle align. All right. Now, there is another option that, call, that is called unmerge cells. So at a, as it says, if you just click on any cell and just click on unmerge, what happens is it gets unmerged and now there are individual cells here. Okay. Although the data that was there earlier will be gone. But it will help you unmerge it. If you want the data also which was there earlier, you can just click on Control Z and undo it. That will come up. But you know this is how the unmerge works. Okay. So, anyways, I'm going to still go and align it and merge it centrally. Okay. Now, one last piece is there is another option called 
merge across. So merge across is usually used to merge multiple cells and multiple rows horizontally. It does not work vertically. Okay. So in this case, if you see, there is a heading movies data and there is another heading movies with IMDB rating. Now, if you notice, both these data are in column B only, not in column C, because whenever I click on column C, D or E or F, nothing comes up here, right? It is in column B. So what if I wanted to put a heading across the entire table, you know, like this in my selected area, I wanted the entire heading to come up. So what should I do? In such cases, you can use merge across. So I'll just select both of these headings. I'll just select the entire set of cells where I want this heading to appear. Come to merge and center and click on merge across. So now what happens is both your rows are merged horizontally. Okay. And you can just use the alignment options here to align them. All right. Now they are centrally aligned. You can if you want you can put a border around it and make it a look, look make it look a bit more cleaner so this is how your uh, merge functions work under the alignment section of your home tab if you haven't subscribed to the video please go ahead and subscribe if you liked this video please hit the like button and put your comments in the comment section see you with another video next week thank you